And so you, uh, I, I'm sure also that you felt as frustrated with them as they might have been with you, but uh, what did you do about it? Well, I, I, um, I began to think um, I would love to do something else, you know. Mm. And I had a friend who was then working. She had been a nurse, mm -hmm. and somehow she had quit nursing and was working at CBC. So um, I got in touch with her and said, you know, um, how do you make this transition, you know? And um, she said, well, um, I, I, I studied a bit uh, and um, I just decided to, to change the whole career. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, it's an amazing thing, you know. Would I, would I get, get into Ryerson? Said, she said, yeah, you can get into Ryerson. You know, you have a degree already in nursing, in midwifery. And therefore, um, just write. And I wrote, and I got it. So mm -hmm, that's amazing. Yeah. I, at that time, Rising was not, um, you know, didn't have the reciprocity uh, of, of a u full university mm -hmm. yet. But um, I well, got it. What in. was it like at that time? What was Rice? I'm sure you know, <laughs> these studios didn't exist, and uh, no, no. You know, things were they were a little different back then. But what were, what were some of the other differences to? Uh, I, I found that, um, th I don't know what it's like now. I know that they have a lot more, you mm -hmm. know. But, but we, we had, um, the, the, the Department of Journalism mm -hmm. had to be with the radio and television people. Right. So, so the first year, uh, we were all the same students with the same subjects and so on. <laughs> right, exactly. And, um, and then after the second year, the, the journalism student went off uh, mm -hmm. uh, to do essentially journalism hmm. and we we were left to, to sort of do the other subjects and stuff like that right. Right. but um i enjoyed i enjoyed rice and what i learned and so on it was brand new to me because the point is um leaving the medical scene yeah. and coming into the artistic areas and so on it, it's a relearning of, of all sorts of stuff you know mm -hmm. literature books and all sort of <laughs> you know yeah, yeah. and the arts and the whole bit but um, it was totally enjoyable, yeah. uh, and, and I learned as much about acting. I got more interested in, in so uh, my intention was to be a radio broadcaster. That was my sort of uh, aim and goal. Right. That's what I wanted. <laughs> and so uh, what happened on that journey towards being a radio broadcaster? Um, I... I could only study for sort of t two semesters, you know, mm -hmm. and um, I didn't have the money mm -hmm. to to um, to continue mm -hmm. because uh, it, you know you couldn't just pay from nowhere. You right, know, yeah. I had no family here or right. anything like this, so um, I had to quit and and just uh, go back into nursing in a sort of a way, um, so just to <laughs> make a living. Yeah. And um, in the meantime, I I took continued um, theater le um, arts lessons or whatever, Studio Lab Theater, I joined Studio, studio Lab Theater. Right. And um, like I was asking him about uh, Ernie Schwartz, mm -hmm. um, he had a theater which he encouraged students, you know, to, to participate in, although he was teaching here as well. Right. And um, I was a regular student uh, at, um, at Ernie's studio. And um, and you played some roles. Did you play some really fascinating? Yeah, um, Ernie got a grant at one point to to do um, the Three Penny Opera, oh. um, and we did it up at Sudbury, Sudbury University, oh. and we all went up there <laughs> for um, <laughs> I think about maybe two two months or two or three months, something wow. like this. You know, it, it was one of these splashy. Um, projects, mm -hmm. which, you know, the government had something called a LIP, Local Initiatives Projects, oh, right, which yeah. um, they would grant a, a company um, money and, and they can hire, you know, students and so on, as, as long as it involves um, employment for mm -hmm. students and that sort of thing. So I got involved. I was uh, I auditioned and, and I was cast yeah, as, as Jenny. Play Jenny. Oh. Jenny Diver. Jenny Diver. Oh. Amazing. 
<laughs> and so what was that experience like, being in Sudbury and in that, that <laughs> particular show? Um, that was an amazing experience. Um, it, it helped to, to, to focus on, on what it's like to, to work with other very talented people mm -hmm. um, and to be able to do things that you never did before, mm -hmm. to be on tour mm -hmm. uh, outside of your home, that's a whole new experience, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the whole thing was, was quite, you know, innovating for me. And also probably laid the groundwork for some experiences that could help you later on. Yes. And like when you, um, <coughs> as you grew in, 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 in theater. Yeah. Um, tell me how you met George Luscombe. I met George. Uh, he had a theater, Toronto Workshop Productions, mm -hmm. on 12 Alexander Street. Um, every year, uh, George would have um, audition mm -hmm. students. And um, for the summer, he would have a whole like 12 week workshop yeah. and people you know he would audition people to come in and, and just train and do mm -hmm. things you know it was just a wonderful sort of um, workshop thing mm -hmm. and we could experiment uh, with, with our ideas and stuff like that and he would give us the freedom to do that and, yeah. and it was a really wholesome ex experience of workshopping the, you know in, in, in the thing that you were doing Mm -hmm. and learning at the same time. So I, I was one of those seasons I, I got auditioned and, and got accepted into this workshop because he didn't do just any and everybody and, and it was, I was very fortunate to, to, yeah. to be one of the people that he did. But after the workshop, at the end of the, the, the workshop in the summer, mm -hmm. he had, to, um, he had to, to garner people for, for the rep company for the season. Mm -hmm. And uh, the plays that, that they were doing at that time, you know, usually he chose a number of plays. And um, there was none that I could really fit in. <laughs> no, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? It meant that there, there wasn't a play. Um, no, I, I, I may be wrong, but... Um, because George is, was, was a very liberal, liberal person who mm -hmm. saw the, um, the need to cross over cultures and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and, um, but at that season, there, there wasn't anything that I could fit in into, right. that I could be auditioned for. Right. And I, I was very disappointed. I said, you know what, in a joke, I'm going to form, I'm going to start my own theater. And that, that, that thought became a reality, became a reality mm -hmm. at some point. <laughs> now, it's interesting, like, we'll, we'll uh, sort of touch on this a, a bit later, but, um, I mean, you know, George's company wasn't the only company. There were other theater companies. But I wonder how much cross-color casting there was in Canada at that time, or how much, you know, how much diversity in casting was there? for film and television and, and other roles? There was very little, mm -hmm. very little uh, cross-culture. Um, I, I think George, to my mind, to my memory, was the only person who sought out plays, sought out writers mm -hmm. who, who would go there, yeah. you know, and he would take, a, you know, what Fugard's play mm -hmm. and say, we, we're going to do this in the season. So, so you'll have, like, you know... Um, that kind of production, mm -hmm. um, but but no other theater, I th uh, was really. I think Studio Lab used to do do some crossing. Yes, mm -hmm. Studio Lab Theater used to do. Um, I remember um, there was uh, there was a very very um, extensive production that Ernie attempted to do. When was that? I think it was actually early seventies. Um, and uh, it, it was a Broadway production that he adapted here. Okay. Yes, but it included um, some, you know, people from Canadian, black Canadians and what have you. Yeah. 
And how did people treat um, that production, Ernie Schwartz's production? Like, did were was it the, was well attended? Okay, it was well attended mm -hmm. um, because um, I think Ernie was brilliant in, in his in his um, producing and directing as well, and uh, it was avant garde right. because I, I think um, like. like one of the productions he did was, was like hair, mm -hmm. H-A-I-R. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, you, you, I remember there were, uh, there were nude scenes oh, really? on the stage, you know, and, and in Toronto that was a new thing. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. 